Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a few slip joints to check out. This is going to be first impressions on three slip joints I recently got into the channel. About a week ago, I was not a slip joint guy at all and had really not even handled many slip joints on the channel. All of a sudden, I have three here. So it's funny how things happen with the channel. Uh, people loan you stuff. Uh, you get sent stuff to check out by channels, and uh, it kind of just goes from there. So the first one here, the first one I got in is the Tactile Knife Co. Uh, Bear. It's pronounced Bear, not Bexer. Um, and they sent this to me to check out. I'm starting to think this lanyard is coming loose, but uh, I can't be certain if it was me or if it already had this fray at the end. <laughs> um I really like this knife. The only issue I'm having is the edge is not fantastic. It came very rough, and I did throw it on a ceramic stone a bit, and I kind of showed that in the unboxing, but it's just not great. So I think I need to have somebody throw an edge on it for me, um, and we'll see how good it is after that. So um, for the review process, it's, it's making it tough. It's still working for shipping labels and packages and such, but whenever I go to do kind of just paper testing when I have other stuff around and whatever, it's just not doing great in that category. Um, yeah, I'm wondering if this was kind of like in here, was it sort of tied off like this? I don't know. I could probably burn the end here or something to try to wrap it up. Uh, but I'm guessing it had a few more of these little knots in it. Um, and it's just come loose being, you know, tugged on. Because that's what I'm doing is I'm using it to pull the knife out of my pocket. So uh, it does make sense that it's kind of loosening up. Hold on a second. Yeah. Doesn't look very good, does it? <laughs> I'm not a lanyard guy, but I do like having it on this model um, for that reason exactly. So let's do this. Let's grab these bad boys. Perfect. Ow. Might have pulled a muscle in my arm. <laughs> Do the same thing there. Where do I keep my... I think I keep it up here. Sorry, this is random, guys, but... Um, I really don't want to use a knife for this, but I guess I could. Um, let me grab something that's not, you know, super duper. Oh, I can't even flick it. I'm going to have to do it off screen just because. So the uh, Best Tech Lizard does well on Paracore. That's good to know. So what I usually do is just try to, actually what I should do is, I am by no means an expert guys, but I figure if I heat it up and then clamp this down, that should do a pretty good job. So All right, we'll see how that holds up. It's not going to look as good, but it might work 
better. So, um, I just need it to be able to come out of my pocket or slip, so to speak. So I don't have a slip for it right now because I was using the one for the Richard Rogers OEM Slim Utility, and I'm basically have sold that at this point. Um, so anyway, I was kind of using this to just pull it out of said slip, and I think we're good now. And that should hold pretty well, I would think. Um, and if I have to get somebody to get me a lanyard or figure it out, I will. Anyway, sorry about that, guys. I just noticed it and wanted to uh, talk about it. So, um, yeah, other than the edge on this, which is serviceable, guys. It's just not tearing through paper the way I would want it to. Um, like... If I go like that, it cuts through really well. But if I try to kind of milk it through, hang on, clean off the edge. If I try to milk it through, it's it's good. It's better. It's better now than it was a second ago. Um, for some odd reason, you guys know I can't cut. But this is the MBK prototype slip joint, and you'll see the difference immediately. You know, it's it's just a much smoother edge, much cleaner uh, edge, and then this lion steel which i still don't know the name of it says collectors uh or ck edition which i think is collector knives or whatever dot com um i think this is called the shuffler but i can't be certain this one has the best edge of all three and the best walk and talk to be honest so let's get into that i was thinking of doing a sort of three-way battle but I don't have enough experience with any of these to do that. And I don't like doing that unless I'm pretty well versed in the knife, right? Um, so, yeah. Um, so you can see the difference in blade shapes. You have the tactile bear, which is a clip point. Pretty traditional, I'd say, clip point. Kind of has this little swoop down here, down to the tip, kind of up swept. And the uh, Lion Steel Shuffler I'm going with here. Sorry, I've called this like five different things in the videos I've done. This is also a clip point, but to me, it's a better tip. I like the look, I think, of the bear better, but I like the tip better on this because it's a little lower. It kind of comes down. It doesn't have that rise at the end that this does, right? So for what I do, again, shipping labels, I can get it to that tip a little bit easier. On this, I need to go pretty vertical to get to it. Um, and then the MBK uh, prototype here, it doesn't have a name, so I'm calling it the prototype. Um, it's very good with this spear point blade. I guess it could be a drop point. I'll call it a spear point. It's your sort of traditional, uh, Swiss army knife blade. This is great for labels cause you're right there with that tip, right? Uh, this one's M390. This one's M390. This one is CPM Magna Cut. So I'd say they're all fairly equal in terms of, um, uh, blade steel, you're going to get more edge retention over here with M390. You're going to get more toughness and more uh, corrosion resistance with this Magna Cut. Uh, for me, if we're talking a slip joint, I would probably prefer the edge retention. But on the flip side, I was thinking about it. And these usually for people can be pocket droppers. And you kind of want to have good corrosion resistance for that because it's just going to be sitting in a pocket, possibly a sweaty pocket for, you know, all day or whatever. So I could see the use for that um, extra corrosion resistance from Magna Cut. I haven't really had much experience with the Magna Cut, so I can't speak on how good that corrosion resistance is. I can just say looking at the charts... Um, it has higher corrosion resistance, it's like a 9, I think, out of 10, uh, whereas uh, M390 is still great, it's like an 8, right? And then edge retention is like a 5 on the Magna Cut and more like a 7 or something on the M390. Toughness is higher on this than M390, I don't know the numbers on that one. And I'm, and I'm estimating there, I'm pretty close, I think, from memory, but I might be a little off. You guys can leave the info in the comments. Um... They're both, they're all the same size, essentially, right? Uh, which is interesting because I've always seen 
um, slip joints as being small, right? And that's one reason I've avoided them because I want to get a full grip on a knife, yet I don't want a knife to be heavy. And these all are doing a great job at being super lightweight, yet having that blade length I need. Um, and they all are sporting titanium in one way or another. Um, this one is full titanium with that epic tactile knife co uh milling pattern i know i said tactile turn like a million times in my unboxing but whatever i wasn't gonna refilm it for that um but yeah you get that full titanium build and obviously you have the spring which i'm assuming is steel yep uh hardware on this also steel yeah it looks like hard to tell because the blade is also in there the um MBK here, titanium bolsters with a mother of pearl handle uh, inlay. And these are, uh, I think Sanford said museum grade mother of pearl. Now, I don't know if that was some kind of joke I totally missed, but that's what he said. So I'm just repeating it here. Um, I think those are T6. Let me check on that because not that you're going to go removing this inlay but those look really small so i'm trying to be careful but i just want to check and see yeah so that's t6 on the inlay and your t6 on the pivot too it might as well right since you're going for t6 uh it is dead center this is a prototype again you have a t8 here uh let me grab the t8 on the tactile you're looking at t8 pivot there's a little bit of room, so it's possible. No, wait. I think it's a T8. I do have a T10 right here. T9 would be pretty rare. Yeah, that's not dropping in. Do I have a T9? This is a T8. I am curious because it kind of feels like it could be T9. Yeah, so you're talking T9 on the screws here. So you're talking T9 all around. Oh, shit. Luckily, this is mine. Feels, I don't know if I'm getting deep. Like, it's kind of getting stuck in there where the T8 is dropping all the way in. So I think I would go with T8. Makes more logical sense that they did T8 on these and not T9. Sorry, I dropped these KPL uh, Q-tip things. By the way, these microfiber Q-tips are epic from KPL. Check out Knife Pivot Lube at knifepivotlube.com. Now for the uh, Lion Steel, I think we're going to go back to T6 on these bolsters. This is also, you're going to have titanium bolsters here. Um, yeah, we're T6 all around on this guy. So, uh, I don't really take issue with T6 on these. Um, I obviously hate T6 like most reviewers, but on a slip joint that I'm probably never going to take apart, I don't care all that much. Um, but it would be nice to see T8, right? Um, so that's kind of your hardware. This has a wood inlay, I don't know, or overlay. It has bumps in it and stuff. It feels really good. I really do like the look of this one. Um, but I feel like it's a little thicker than it needs to be, right? You have kind of like a, a titanium liner going all the way around. And then you have the bolster on top of that. And then you have the scale on top of the, uh, next to that, right? And you can feel a pretty good gap right here or transition and uh, you can see from right here where this chamfer is let me zoom in on that where this chamfer is right here and then where the wood starts it's just not as clean as i would want it to be if this was like flush and these chamfer corners sort of lined up i think this would be a much nicer looking uh slip joint and then i don't like that liner underneath why do we need all these liners and stuff it's a slip joint right um and then on this one you have a rounded or sorry crown spine and you'll see it's also crowned here and as we open the knife it pops flush flush so you're flush all around 
and you can hear the walk and talk on this guy. It is excellent on this knife. Definitely my favorite out of the three in terms of action, walk and talk, sorry. Um, it feels really good in hand. I think we have about a three and a quarter inch blade on this guy. And I really dig that. It's the perfect size for a slip joint. Three and a quarter, 3.3. .3. It's basically the perfect size for a knife. But, you know, uh, we can check. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's only three inches. Yeah, it's only three. So I take it back. Now uh, let's check this one. Probably the same. 2.99. This one might even be smaller. 2.85-ish, 2.87. So yeah, we're right sub, right at three inches on all of these. Um, which, again, I'm going to backtrack there. That's probably the best size for a slip joint. And it does fit my hand. So, you know, regardless of what I was thinking it was, it fits my hand and that's the important part and that's why I liked it, right? Um, and they all fit my hand really well. They're just big enough, right? And that's what you want. You don't want a huge ass slip joint. And for me, I don't want a tiny one either, right? Um, ergos are great on all of them. The tactile is the thinnest of them all. It's got 0.6 stock and um, it's just super thin, but for what I'm going to do with the slip joint, this is perfect, and I love the thinness. That's what makes this knife, on top of the finish, the milling, that's what makes this knife, uh, it makes me like this knife so much. The, the MBK fills your hand more, and so does the Alliance Steel. They both feel good in hand. Um, this is going to sound dumb, but the, the MBK, because maybe the mother of pearl and the titanium there, it's a little bit cooler to the touch where the lion steel is a little bit warmer, maybe because of the wood could be the finish as well. Um, this is more of a blast. That's more of a polish, um, but they both feel equally comfortable in hand. I think maybe the MBK is a little bit better because it kind of rounds out and bulbs out down here and it just kind of swells right into my hand perfectly where this is just a straight, it's still very comfortable, and I get a little bit closer onto that blade, a little more com uh, control on the blade, I'd say, than the MBK, but both are, are very excellent. I feel like I have more blade length with this Monterey Bay Knives knife. Um, and then, again, in terms of action, walk and talk, uh, the order I'd put them in is, um, well, it's just like this. So I would put the lion steel first. It just f has very good clicks and clacks on that walk and talk. And that's what I like, right? Doesn't mean you're going to like it, but you can see how it pops to the half stop and it pops down, right? Um, the MBK, good pull. And when it pops, it's, it's a little bit less springy, but it does do it. And then pops close pretty good. Not as acoustic, but definitely really good walk and talk the tactile is a little bit wanting in that category you can see it kind of struggles to pop to the next spot right there and then it does slam home it's not the best and i think part of that is just how thin it is how thin that spring is you just can't you know you're not going to get it to be um as as springy as one of these would be now the pool honestly these two are almost dead on. I would put them at like a six, maybe five or a six. It's not too much and it's not too little. That's what I like about it. So for me, a five would be average, right? Like I'm not going, oh, that's too light. And I'm not going, oh, that's too strong. That's a five to me personally, right? So I'd put these at right about a six. This one is close to that maybe one notch up, maybe a seven. So maybe these are a five and this is a six, you know, in my world. Um, this is a cool picture right there. Check those bad boys out. Take a screenshot for the thumbnail, baby. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's really it. I just wanted to quickly talk about these three. Um, I will be completely honest as usual. This one really speaks to me because it's so thin and light. 
that's it's really what it is about for me it just because of that lightness in hand and everything it just works for me so well to just drop in a pocket where i'm not normally a slip joint guy right so it, it helps in that regard this one is absolutely gorgeous uh, i do love the milling on this so i think it's sexy as well this mother of pearl just really stands out um, not my usual sort of aesthetic, but uh, I definitely plan on getting one of these when they come out. It's just very comfortable in hand. I think by then I might be a, a semi-slip joint guy. Um, wow, that was really bad. I hope it hit the spine. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Jesus, just throwing shit around. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Um yeah, I'm not normally a slip joint guy, but when something is special or unique or whatever, it makes me interested, right? Um, and that's what these two do. This lion steel is very interesting. Um, I, I was tempted to go like look and maybe pick one up. I'm not a big fan of Italian knives, but they do seem to have a good eye on the um, slip joints. Um, so maybe that's where they shine, but I don't know. There's just something that's kind of saying, nah, like I like the idea that this is a Monterey Bay knife. It's not American made, but it's supporting Monterey Bay knives and it's supporting American jobs. Believe it or not, a good portion of the proceeds that, uh, go to a company like this, go to Americans. Okay. Um, so you're still supporting Americans by buying from an MBK or a tactile knife is obviously American made. I don't know what the price point on this is going to be. Everything they do is usually sub 200. Um, so it'll be close to that. This is, I believe, is it $200 or is it 300? I can't recall, but either way, American made for whatever price it is, is fantastic, right? Uh, with American steel made in an American shop, um, that's pretty cool. So I like them all. I think maybe the tactile is still my favorite, but I just got this one in today and I still love it. Like I still want to get one. So that's no question. Uh, one thing I'll note is I wish they would ship these with slips. Um, I don't know why they don't come with slips. Maybe they assume people have them or whatever. I'm new to the slip joint thing. So I'm not somebody who has a bunch of slips i had the one for the slim which is now being shipped out and i'm having one made for this right now by lancelot leather shout out to joe you can use my code lefty10 over at lancelot leather um so that'll be good once i have just i just wanted a plain slip to drop in my pocket as thin as it could be honestly um so i can't wait for that and then I guess, you know, I could get another one made when I get one of these. But I would I would love to get one with the knife, you know, just a simple slip, you know, just something so I'm not dropping it and getting it beat up. Jesus Christ. Uh, getting it beat up in my pocket. And that's what's happening, right? It's, it's bouncing into stuff in your pocket and whatever. Um, so I don't know. Anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for checking out these three slip joints. Again, Lion Steel Shuffler, I believe. Uh, MBK prototype, mother of pearl, M390, uh, slip joint, and the tactile knife co bear. Uh, I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you later.